Today I have a long overdue final checkout video of this telephone from Israel. Uh, during the, the time between this initial checkout and this video, I officially found out the real model of this telephone. It's model 115-50, 115-50, made by Telrad for Bezek, uh, the telephone company of Israel. And this one is from 1968. As you all recall, this phone was uh, pretty dirty, scratched up, but there was no damage. Um, some Novus polish really did the trick, bringing the plastic to a really good shine and getting rid of those uh, scratches. Um, I guess it really was used a lot, but not roughly. And the dial was also really slow, and I managed to get that really, really quiet and um, at 10 pulses per second. I also had to adjust the pulse contacts to be able to make an accurate dial out from when I was still living at my parents' house. And it actually works really great. It's very accurate in dialing and it has a really, really loud ring to it. As you all know that uh, this looks just like a GPO Model 706 and I believe Telerad made these under license of GPO, as you can see, you know, but the only difference with these phones is the number card, and they also have their own moldings of the uh, company on the housing, and they also have their own stamping on the bottom, and they also had their own type of plug before, uh, at least for their older type of plug. This is the old one. The newer type of plugs that they used, at least into the 80s, were just like the BT plugs. The only difference was is that their outlets they used had the Bezek logo on the outside of the plug, just like the BT plugs did. So they basically used a similar system of tel um, of the plugs over there in, in Israel, just like the GPO. Of course, I did have to rewire this phone a little bit to um, get it working correctly. It wasn't really hard to do because it was just like converting a GPO phone to work here in the States. So let's get a closer look at it. Let me take this off. This dial face has a crack over at the number three, but that's the only damage to this phone there is. There's this blank here. This is not a sticker, but it is a blank. Um, handset. There's the the molding here on the uh, housing that I was talking about. This one has a plastic carrying handle. And there's not a crack in sight or any discoloration on this phone either. Which is really nice at least to have a, a cream colored phone or an ivory colored phone that has no discoloration to it. There is a scratch here that I did not manage to get out because it's a deep scratch, but that's okay. The grommets here, the restraints, are basically stained and I could not clean them very well. They're clean, they just look dirty. And of course there's some dust from this phone sitting on the shelf as well. Dial, as I said, is at uh, 10 pulse per second. And it's really quiet. Here's a look at the plug again. This is the old one. I really wish I could find a adapter for this phone so I don't have to take the plug off when I want to test the phone but it is what it is it's really neat definitely something we're not used to seeing here in the states here's the bottom of the phone we got august of 1968 and one thing that they had was their own type of uh, adjuster for the ringer it's the uh, a little knob here and it's set to loud right now and there's a lot of scratches on the bottom plate of this phone as well. 
since the plug is still attached to the line cord in this part of the video, I'm going to end this part of the video and take the plug off so I can give you a dial demonstration and a ringer demonstration for you all because um, I'd rather show you initially what the phone looks like and then show you what it, how it works and, and how the ringer sounds. It, it just makes more sense to do it that way. At least for a phone that I don't want to take the plug apart because I can't get those alligator clips attached to this without them slipping. So I'm going to end this now and we will be right back for the ringer and dial demonstration. And we are back and now we're going to do the dial and ringer demonstration. I have the plug exposed and I just put the alligator clips on the terminals instead of on the outside since I couldn't get them. Um, as I said, couldn't get them fit on the contacts on the outside of the plug. So it's basically ringing now and it will dial out. So let me go ahead and pick up the handset and I will give you some dial tone if you can hear it. You should be able to hear it. So I'm just going to dial some numbers. Sorry, I think my arm was blocking that. You need that. Whoops. And this zero. So there's that. And now we will do the ringer demonstration. Here we go. I will do three rings and pick up on the third. Alright, that was it. Um, I will have pictures at the end of this video showing on the inside of the phone as well as the components in the handset. I hope you enjoyed this video of this tell from Israel, model 115-50, made by Telrad for Bezik. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.